It is uh, Sunday, October 6, uh, 2013. I'm in front of the uh, Unitarian Church of Montreal and I'm about to uh, begin uh, chalking some slogans on the sidewalk. Uh, yesterday, the uh, 5th of October, uh, marked the uh, 16th month since the last I heard from Steichman Elliott, the uh, barristers and solicitors, a litigation lawyer, Maitre Marc Andre Coulomb. Uh, in uh, June of 2012, on the 1st of June, I received an email from uh, Maitre Coulomb accusing me of, uh, amongst other things, the crime of blasphemous libel for allegedly making unfounded and vicious allegations uh, to the effect that ministers of the Unitarian Universalist Association engage in such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. Um, unfortunately for uh, Maitre Coulomb, uh, who was basically demanding that I take down blog posts containing such uh, unfounded and vicious allegations. I was not able to find any such uh, unfounded and vicious allegations on the Emerson of Andrew blog. So I wrote him a letter back to him, sent him an email saying, look, I, I, I just can't find any blog posts that match your description of unfounded and vicious allegations, the effect that ministers of the association engage in such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. So on the uh, 5th, I received an email back from him. I can't remember the exact wording of it, but it was very sort of terse and arrogant. And he basically said, uh, you know, not in these words, but he basically said, you know damn well where that material is. You go find it. I'm not telling you where it is. Um, so I had to write back to Maitre Colomb and explain to him that, uh, well, I was perfectly aware of where there were some blog posts where I had... Uh, spoken about a few Unitarian Universalists who uh, had in fact engaged in such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape and I just uh, wanted to know where uh, the unfounded ones were um, and that was the last I heard from him. Um, so uh, because uh, Unitarian Universalists are misusing and abusing uh, Canada's blasphemy law in order to try to intimidate me into uh, deleting blog posts about uh, Unitarian Universalists, uh, ministers or otherwise, who have in fact been uh, convicted of such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. I'm about to uh, write some uh, shock slogans uh, that are about the uh, blasphemous libel allegation and basically criticizing the Unitarian Universal Association and Unitarians more generally for falsely accusing me of the arcade crime of blasphemous libel. So here we go.
So, here we go. It's uh, somewhat in the background there, but basically I wrote uh, on the sidewalk, uh, Unitarian Misuse of Canada's Blasphemy Law, Sucks U Asterisk U. Um, and I'm about to write a slogan calling for the uh, repeal or reform of Canada's Blasphemy Law, but I think I'm going to start a new clip uh, for that. Uh, maybe not. Let's just... Uh,
Alrighty, so here we go. The second slogan that I just uh, put down on the sidewalk says, uh, repeal or reform Canada's blasphemous libel law. I had actually intended to write uh, repeal or reform Canada's blasphemy law, but my blasphemy got a little too long there. And instead of just having a Y down below, I decided to put, you know, the term blasphemous libel instead. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, the second slogan. And since we're coming up to 13 odd minutes, um, that's pretty much it. I think I'm just going to uh, add one little thing there. Because, because they deserve uh, this protest, sir. Get yourself a hobby. If you want to make a photo of that, if you want to take a photo of that, but if you want to take a photo of that, I won't take a photo of that. I would like to take a photo of that. Thank you. 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 So we got this uh, city employee who came along and uh, disputed my chalking on the sidewalk, basically claim, uh, claiming that because it's the city's property, I need authorization to write on it. Um, so he's uh, just over on the other side of the street, and we got somebody taking some photos here, which I find fine by me. So, he's basically said he's going to call the police, and we're going to have a little chat with the police, I guess. Um, I think a worst case scenario is I get another ticket for uh, vandaliser la trottoir, but he's you know, actually accusing me of vandalizing the sidewalk, when in fact all I'm doing is uh, putting down some uh, temporary uh, chalk that uh, is easily washed away. This is not a... So here he goes, he's uh, calling me. Uh, <laughs> So here he goes, we're just going to... So here we go, he's calling the police. But, uh, there's his truck. Okay, so let's see what happens, but I'm quite willing to uh, discuss this with the police. In fact, they came by the other day and they saw the chalk and they didn't dispute it at all so I think actually the police might have a more uh, open-minded attitude than uh, 
than the city employee. So, uh, and the thing that's interesting too is this guy, this is the first time a city employee has uh, come by, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, he, he believes that, uh, that uh, you know, the sidewalk's his property. He seems to forget that it's also partly my property. Um, you know, he seems to think that I can't write chalk slogans on the uh, sidewalk, but he agrees that I can walk on it. So if I can walk on the sidewalk with picket signs or even in the street with picket signs, what is the difference between doing that and putting some chalk?